welcome back to another video. We are about to do part three or part four. I don't know. We're about to do the next one of the next part of the Jackson's and American Dream full movie. I know some of y'all are going to be mad because it took this long, but y'all, I'll be working full time. Okay. I only get two days off. <laughs> so sometimes I'll be tired and sometimes like, you know, I, I try to, I try to record and then I got the next, the, literally the next other day off to edit all the videos that I record. So it's going to take me some time, but I'm going to get these videos up here. And I believe I only got two more parts left or maybe just one more part. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get this finished. Um, I think I'm going to do this one and then it'll be one more video after. So let's dive on in. They don't have no security, like, none. I ain't playing with y'all, Nike Cat. What are you about to do? She talking about security cover the boys. It's one security guard. Where's the security at? Y'all didn't pay for none. One thing I don't get is why fans ruin the show. Like, if I'm about to spend my money on this and somebody just bun rush the shape, bun, bun rush the shape, bun rush the show, like bun rush them, and now they now we can't even watch the show no more. I'm about to be pissed. Like, where's my refund at? Because ain't no way, y'all. know them tickets was probably expensive too. Like, y'all couldn't wait until they did the last song or something. Like, they, I'm pretty sure this is probably like the second or third song. Like, come on. I I'll be pissed. <laughs> I'd be so mad. Like, somebody gonna give my refund. And I ain't getting no... I think one of them grabbed, like, uh, Jermaine's uh, Adalion or something. And I ain't getting no artifact or nothing off them. Like, somebody gonna give, give my money back. <laughs> party is there girls there girl calm down my brother is seven years old what are you talking about? <laughs> my brother is seven years old like what are you talking about And then she hung up on him. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes the way that women are portrayed <laughs> in these moments be be killing me. Cause I'm like, I just think about like what I would do in that situation. I'm like, yeah, I would I would miss my man, obviously, but I'm not about to spend if I only got I know you're a superstar, I know you traveling around, I know you touring. So the fact that you took your time out to call me and we can like, you know, I'm not about to spend this phone call arguing. I'm not about to do that. Like, yo, tell me about the tour. Tell me what's going on. I want to hear from you. Tell me everything. Oh, oh, dude just got splashed. What? Like, I'm about to be on the phone. Like, enjoying the conversation. Enjoying this time I have with you. Because we only got, what he said, He people don't like it when they on the phone for real. We only got, like, what, 30 minutes to an hour to talk on this phone? Tell me everything. Like, I'm not about to argue with you. If I if I'm worried or if I got something to say, I'm gonna do it when I get back and I see when you get back and I see you in person. Be like, hey, I missed you. Like, if if there's a way for you to call me a couple more times while you're on tour, do that or something. But like, I'm not about to waste time on the phone arguing. Be mad when you get. I'll be mad when you get back. <laughs> okay. 
real quick they just showed that plane ride <laughs> and if you just if y'all didn't see my rdc video when they was talking about that plane yo that story when i was talking about that pilot thought he was in gta like we was i can't remember if, if it was the flight when i was going to new orleans or if it was the flight when i was going to atlanta but that pilot was talking <laughs> was doing swoops in the air i'm like yo you need to relax up there he was fooling <laughs> I don't get like why people act like that over celebrities. Like I, <clears throat> and trust me, I know I used to be a big August Alcina fan. But like, if I was to see him in person, I'm not acting like that. <laughs> I'm not gonna act like that. Like during that time, like I wasn't gonna act like that. Like I would be like, oh hey, what's up? Like can I get a picture with you or something like that? But I'm not about to. Like it was trying to video of people actually fainting at michael jackson he was just standing there i'm like y'all this is a man like he's not like yes he make good music but y'all need to relax it's not that deep Apple pie. Yeah. Meet that too. okay thank you can you really order anything you want that's right <laughs> believe that they put that scene in this movie because if y'all didn't know i think i said it in one of the videos that's jermaine's actual son playing him so the fact that they put jermaine cheating on his <laughs> on his mom i don't know if that's Didi's son or the other lady's son but the fact that they put that the fact that his dad was cheating on i said Didi. who was the who was the girl she was uh, uh what was her name not Didi, but the other girlfriend the other girlfriend um uh not Didi. Didi was uh Tito's uh was with Tito. The other girl who was with Jermaine. The fact that they put that he cheated on her in this movie and had her had his son playing as him is crazy. I have a right to know where my children are and what they're doing. Never Jackson. What did he say? Where are they? Well, tonight they're in Nashville, tomorrow Memphis. How do you know that? The fan club issued a whole itinerary. See? I do find that weird that he didn't tell like the fan club has a has an itinerary, which makes sense, obviously, because they're the fans. But it's like, how do you not tell the mom where her kids are going to be? You know, it's like, yeah, they're going on tour, but they're not about to be home. It's like, why wouldn't you tell? Why wouldn't? First of all, why aren't Catherine? Why isn't Catherine there? My kids are going on tour, and I didn't see not one concert of theirs. So I'm, so I'm not adding up with that. I don't like how that was. How that is like, no, I. That's what I'm saying. Like when 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 they did the, the pool scene when they went to Diana Ross's house and. Catherine was like, oh, let me grab my swimsuit. Like, I need to do my hair real quick. And Joe was like, no, 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 this is business. It's just us. And they didn't do nothing but get in the pool. Like, it wasn't even like they was performing or nothing or me and big clients. Like, they was just literally just in the pool. I'm like, that could have been a great time for her to go and see the people that be around her children. Because best believe I'll be in the front seat. <laughs> just like Catherine. As soon as you like, I mean, just like Catherine. But like, just like this moment, it's like, oh, we're going on tour? Oh, okay, bet. Like, uh, so what, what days am I flying out to meet child? Like, what shows can, what shows am I going to? And if you got a problem with that, I'll be like, oh, all right, uh, let me sign up for that uh, fan club, get the itinerary. And then I'll meet y'all out there. And best believe I'll be backstage like, oh, hey, what's up, sons? Like, no, I'm not playing that. Those are, those, those are our kids. I'm going to be supporting them just like you. Skip that. Tori, why do you want to act so ugly in front of company? Just tell them to go home. They're fans. Now, it's because of them that your brothers have come this far. I want to always show them respect. I want to go back to Indiana. I wish I were there. Latoya probably feeling like those aren't really her friends for real. Like, they just hyped about like her brothers like she left all her friends and stuff you know back home in indiana versus coming out here and people are just probably obsessed with like oh 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 you're michael jackson's and you're you're jermaine and, and tito's and and uh and jackie's little sister like you know like i i want to see your house like i'm not like you know it's just it's all about the brothers instead of like just being her friend like that's probably how she's feeling too and then on top of that she can't even see her brothers like it's probably a lot why do we always have to stay here? Why can't we go out on the road? Because your father says that no girls are allowed. No mothers either. No mothers allowed. Yeah, I <laughs> didn't keep that rule. I wouldn't know where they were. Exactly. That ain't happening. I did this girl's school for me. You're a saint of us. Saint of us. Saint of us. We toast my laundry and milk. I gave him my cookies. <laughs> For the people who do not know, 
Jason Weaver said the day, like, this is obviously throughout the whole movie, uh, it was his voice singing because they had to pre record the songs. But um, this particular day, uh, when he was singing this song, he actually had to sing it live. Like, they couldn't go along with the tape. So you can actually hear, like, the microphone and stuff because it was on. You can, like, hear it, like, echo and stuff. But he said this is what, this scene is what got him the role in The Lion King. He didn't play uh, Simba, like, the voice character, but he did sing the songs for Simba. I think he did sing some of them. I don't know. I'm not sure if it was all of them, but it was the majority of them. He did sing them. And then if y'all watch the Disney, like, they just did the, um, I don't know what it's called, but they just did the, the thing where they, they went on and did the Lion King and they brought all the original voice actors and they got Jason Weaver to come out and present the new Simba. <laughs> and it was Northwest. And I know some people are probably like, some people did not enjoy her uh, performance and me included. It was not, I just feel like, I just feel like what, what North did was giving very much middle school performance versus someone who's actually trained for it. And I feel like it, she did take an opportunity away from someone who worked hard to get that spot. And it was just getting like, that was just not, it was not it. She didn't even wear the costume that she was supposed to wear. She didn't have no vocal training. Or if she did have vocal training, it's really sad. She needs to fire the vocal trainer because she's, it's just, she's not a singer. It's just, it's not, it was not good. And then to have the original voice, like him, the person who played Michael, who was him, not just played Michael Jackson, but was handpicked. Like, yes, he talked to Jason Weaver to say that in the interview too, that Michael actually had to, Michael picked all his own actors for this uh, movie. He picked them himself. He didn't have, like, nobody picked them for him. He watched their audition tapes and he picked them himself. So, Michael saw the talent in him, and then y'all had him present Northwest as the new symbol, like, to be after him, which kind of crazy, was crazy to me. I was like, that's, I'm not trying to take nothing away from Northwest. I just don't, that just, it just wasn't her time. It wasn't her time, and it just wasn't the right place to do that. And I blame her parents for that. So, well, I'm gonna move on. But I just say, I just had to say, like, I really was going to say that Jason Weaver has so much talent with his singing that I'm very shocked that, you know, he doesn't get the recognition that he, that he, that he should get. You're just kids. Well, we're going to get married anyway. Good children. It's very pretty. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, um, I'm just shocked. Well, Joseph, aren't you going to say anything? <laughs> Joseph, I think I'll go after her. Honestly, like, what a, like, did y'all, this is what bothers me about, like, this particular, like, thing is because I can understand when he was upset with, uh, with Ruby when she got married and moved out and, you know, he wanted, he wanted better for their kids, but now they, they're living better now. They're in a better situation. They touring, they still, you know, they still doing, they still doing their thing, you know? So it's like, what's the problem now? You know, it's like, you're not, you're not really voicing it. You're not saying nothing. You're just being distant and not like, you know, and not like, like explain it to them. Like you're not really saying anything. And I'm only speaking for this movie. I got to say that because I'm not, I don't know nothing about their real life. He probably did explain to them, but from his movie perspective, it's like, you're not really, you're not telling your kids, like you're not, people aren't mind readers. I keep saying that, but they are, they are not mind readers. Explain why you feel the way you do. And then like you ignoring her, making her feel some way. It's like, that is so unnecessary. That's what I'm saying. Like if I was D, I'd be right up in his face. Like, like what's the issue? Like, seriously, what's the issue? What is the problem? Like, it's just, it's crazy to me. What is the problem for real? Like, I, during this whole time, I've never, never, never interrupted his touring, never imposed on y'all, been cool to y'all. Like, what is the issue? What's the issue? Really? I honestly want to know in real life did he really went that long with never speaking to her because that would really be an issue for me ain't no way that, that would really be a problem for me ain't no because like that's so so rude I would have to check him on that I don't care who daddy you is well what's the issue for real because if I'm being nice to you and I bought your presents and I'm like you know I'm I'm not I'm not doing nothing that's interfering you what's your issue because that's a long time it, it had a new day on me I think it said 19 19 something and it was on tour it was this whole uh, decade later like what's your issue Got a beautiful brand new house here. And you wanna move. Only don't marry that girl. It's gonna mess up your life. You got girls screaming all over you right now! You get married, and they're gonna look at you different. I don't care. I'm gonna marry Dee. Marry that girl. Is it Andrew Jackson's life? No! It doesn't have to be. Dee won't cause trouble. She doesn't wanna come in between me and my brothers. She doesn't want to go on tour. She doesn't want nothing but me. All this work. For nothing! You're gonna blow the whole thing. Blow what, though? Like, we're already here. 
We're already here. It's not like he said he didn't want to be a part of the group anymore. He's talking about you already. He's like, Tito is what, like, probably, what, 24, 25 at this point? It's like, eventually he was going to move out anyway. Like, what? Like in, in his mind, like, at what age did he think his kids was going to start selling, selling down? Like, I'm just very curious because they never mentioned that in this, in this movie. So, I like, I really just want to know, like, at what point did he think they were going to start having their own lives and stuff? Like, obviously, Ruby, Ruby was too, Ruby was fast. Like, hers happened really, really fast. I think she was only, what, like, probably 18, 19 at the time? So, I was like, I can understand his viewpoint on that point. But it's like, okay, Tito's, like, probably, what, 24? It's like, you know, he's getting to that age where he probably wants his own, his own house, his, his life with Didi. You know, it's like, I don't understand, like, what the, what the issue is. And then it's like, who said, like, somebody's about to look at him different? People gonna look at him like, oh, he married? Yes, but, like, you see old girl, old girl who was, uh, Messing with Jermaine, knew he was, uh, what was saying and did not care. So it's like, what's the, I don't, I don't understand. I, don't, I just don't understand what the issue was. Especially if he's not saying that he's trying to leave the group. He never said that. So it's like, what, what is really your issue? It isn't true what he said. This won't break up the group or anything. Of course not. Getting married is the only way out of here. New house don't make no difference. It's still the same inside. Stick to your guns, man. But I hate it when y'all talk like that about getting married. How'd you do that to all our fans? And this is why you don't need to be having those conversations in front of little kids. Because look at Michael. How could you get married and disappoint all our fans? Like, because you have a life. <laughs> it's like, you have a life. Like, obviously he's a little kid, so he doesn't understand that. But it's like, you have, y'all, they have, they have their own lives. Of course, they're going to meet somebody and get with somebody. Like, that's, I really don't understand Joseph's point on that. I don't at all. Like, I think I would understand it better if, if he explained, if he explained, like, what the goal was. But from this point of view, it only seemed like he was just worried about money. He was just worried about money. And like I said before, it's not like Tito said he wanted to quit the group or something, or he wasn't trying to go on tour. Like he he was still trying to. So it's like, what are you talking about? Hello, man. Can I find a apartment on the scene? Isn't it pretty? A little apartment. Hey, come on, Tito. Hey, look, I don't care about big houses. I just care about being with you. I'm a big star. Look, everyone else about you got a big house. You're supposed to have one too. Yeah, that's your business. And then it's like he's talking about, oh, everybody, everybody else around you got a big house. You're supposed to have one too. What does that got to do? It's just me and Didi. We ain't got no kids. <laughs> like, what are we about to do with all this space? We not even gonna visit half these rooms. Like it's just me and Dee. The, the most we gonna do is kitchen, bathroom, and the bedroom. That's it. <laughs> like, and then I'm gonna be on tour, and it's just gonna be us in the house. What do I need a big mansion for? Especially if I ain't got no kids or nothing. Like I don't, like I don't need all this space. Like for what? And it's like some of these celebrities, it's the same too. Like they got these big, big mansions, and it's like, do y'all even use half of these rooms? Just wake me up for that. <laughs> what are we supposed to say? National Airport. Star Spangled Banner, you know, uh, we don't have to worry about a band because you can do it a cappella. What the works? What do you mean? The Star Spangled Banner is a national anthem. Uh, oh, say, can you see? By the dawn's early night. And then what? You don't know. Well, we know parts, but we've never done it before. She's talking about you don't know. Like, girl, do you know? Do you know the words of the Star Spangled Banner? Mm -mm. These kids are better. There it is. Don't she, she don't even know. <laughs> Get it right in 20 minutes. That's bad booking. How you booked them an appearance and never told them what they was going to sing or didn't make sure that they knew the song they was going to sing? Talk about in 20 minutes. You about to land. Like, did you, like, why wouldn't you say something? Well, the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. And all is what, do, you, do you think the plane's gonna crash? The plane is not gonna crash. Oh, I know you're tired. 
I'm tired too. We all are. Baby, go on that plate. I'm scared. I want to go on any more plates ever. Ever. But this is why it's important to have both parents around because look at he he talking to Suzanne and I'm sure she was a great like you know I'm pretty sure she was she was cool but it's like he probably needed his mother in this in this stance it's like he he needed that comfort that support because obviously Joseph ain't around <laughs> like he not you know he not doing that so it's just like he probably needed his mom like you know so, and they probably been on tour for so long and she yeah she just said she said they've been on tour for so long and on plane after plane and he tired like he probably needed his mom around for some comfort that's why it's like yeah Joseph you a manager but at the same time you a parent too you know he need both parents I love this choreography for the song. What I was gonna say, you see that nod that Michael just gave Joe and they just had like that very like proud moment that like, I wanted to say like, obviously he was tough and, and I was gonna say, dang, like he really forced him to get on that plane, but it's like, yo, like he a dad. And at the same time, it's like, you gotta push your kids to not be afraid and to go out there and just do what you love doing. Like I, I see that, I see that side point, but at the same time, I also see like Joe, like as a manager and as, as a, as a parent, as a parent and as a manager, like. You doing the best you can with making sure your kids are stay professional, get their choreography down, and doing what they got to do. And obviously, it paid off because you know they was a success. But at the same time, it's like you can be just a, that compassion that they were looking for is why it's important to have a mom around as well. If you if you're gonna wear both hats as a dad as a, and as a as a dad and as a manager, it's important for Catherine to have been there as well when it was touring because they need that compassion. They need that you know that everything everything will be okay. You know you know they they need that as well. Like they can't you can't just be starring twenty four seven. It, it, don't, it don't work like that. But I also do know why. Well, I'm not gonna say no, but I also see why he had to be on top of them because it's like yo like if this is your dream and singing is your dream like you can't be like you can't be missing steps or because they gonna they gonna crucify you they gonna ridicule you like 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 i just said like with northwest people was tearing her up on the internet like it's just like, it's the same thing i'm pretty sure it's the same back then like if you ain't got it bro they, they gonna tear you up same with northwest like her parents should have known better seeing her out there looking like that that was it was crazy but it was it's the same thing here it's like yo like you i, I gotta be a manager on you and i gotta direct you correctly if you're gonna do this you got you gonna you gonna do it you gotta do it right you got to and it's like, dang. And then it, it do kind of feel like he was only proud of them in that moment of like, you're singing, you're performing. It, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're going to be that manager, you have to be a dad too first. You got to be a dad first and show that compassionate side and show that, is this really what you want? Is this really what you want to do? Is this really what you want? Like, you know, talk to your kids, have that good communication, you know? Because we can obviously see that Michael enjoys performing. You know, we can obviously see that this is something that he wants to do. But at the same time, you know, we obviously see that this is something that he wants to do. So obviously, just a, yes, be on their head, be you know be starting like hey you have to get this down pat you have to study you have to practice you have to perfect your craft yes do that but at the same time you still have to be a dad too you still gotta be a dad you still have to be their dad and if and if it's hard being both then i would have advised him like you probably don't have to be a captain here to for them to have that parent feeling around like this is a parent that i can i can lean on when i'm when i'm uncomfortable about something or when i'm feeling some type of way like when michael was crying in, in the uh in the airport it's like he probably he probably felt like he wanted his mom at, you know he probably felt like he wanted his mom you know and Justin talking about she can't be around. Like, no, like, they still kids. They need their parents. Hazel, I'm so excited to see you. Because if I was Catherine, I'm at every concert. I'm on every tour. I don't care how much money we got to spend. I'm not leaving my kids' side. My little kids? Nah. Crazy. I'm dreaming about this. Man. It's okay, Joseph. Hazel will give me a ride home. I was just wondering, you think like a lot of it probably came from like jealousy? Do y'all think, hold on, my scarf is, do y'all need to tell me my scarf is falling back? Oh, I'm gonna have to fix it. All right. But do y'all think a lot of it probably came from like uh, jealousy? Because y'all see how when, in the case of when um, Tito was about to marry Didi and Joseph was like, oh, well, if you get married to that girl, you're gonna ruin your life. Y'all think like he was, instead of like, do y'all think he was actually projecting his feelings about Catherine? Like he probably felt like, yo, this is what I could have had if I would have just moved to California like because remember in a in a part in part one right his dream was he was about to move back to California he was either gonna do he was gonna do his boxing thing and he was gonna have his sinker thing going on and he's gonna move to California to do that but he, he didn't do it because Catherine had got pregnant with uh with uh Ruby or was it uh Jackie it was one of them either Ruby or Jackie uh Catherine had got pregnant with so he ended up staying and he was like whatever I'm gonna just stay here with you and then we gonna make this thing uh 
we're gonna get to california whatever how we can however we can we're gonna get there so now that his sons is like touring doing what they got to do and getting all the fame and glory and it's like he just a manager y'all think he probably feels some type of way like y'all think he always felt some type of way like that's probably that's probably low-key why he <laughs> i ain't gonna spoil the movie for anyone who haven't watched it but like do y'all think that's why he probably like didn't want Catherine around like he probably wanted that touring that life experience of like yo i'm single and i can tour and i can do all this stuff without have to worry about females or you know all that stuff like that's probably that's probably what he was thinking that's probably what he was projecting onto his sons his, his, he was probably thinking like yo you can live this movie star life and be single and, and do all this but you talking about you want to be married like you know it was probably backwards in his mind probably i don't know that's interesting I, I wonder i wonder if that's what he was thinking not going to be satisfied until he has one of my boys calling him daddy you know that was really the definition of a one-sided beef it's like you your pride is hitting you so hard that you're mad oh now that i'm thinking about it y'all think he was actually jealous of barry barry girly because barry girly barry gordy because he's because barry gordy has what joseph wanted because it seemed like joseph wanted that I can be a manager. I can do the hosting. I can put on shows and events and stuff like that. It's like he he. It's like the role the role that Barry Gordy has. I don't know what he, what his title is, job wise, but it seemed like Joseph wanted that. So do y'all think that's what really what it was about? It's like I don't know. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm trying to say? Oh, look at Diddy. I love that shade of blue too. It's so pretty. Yeah, there was a little bit of 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 a you know I don't like that kind of talk. It's interesting because y'all know that moment when they was in the studio and um uh Michael was pointing out the like the little keys and stuff that was hooked up to the like when they was in the recording booth and Michael was asking all the questions about like the the sound effects and stuff like that and he was asking Joseph like what does all this stuff do? And Joseph immediately hit him with attitude. But when Barry Gordy came in, he was nice and he was telling him and he was just like, Hey, like if you have any questions, just ask me, but just make sure you don't break anything. It's like if you like Joseph, right? If you didn't know what that stuff did, it's like all you have to say was like, "I don't know," but like, just don't touch it because you don't want nothing to break. But um, we can ask like one of the producers or, or something like that. Like that's all you have to say. Don't touch it. Don't break it. You know, I don't want you to break nothing. But if you do got a question, like ask one of the producers if you if you truly didn't know what that button did or whatever. Because just how like they making that joke, like, "Oh, he wish he was very grown son," and it was just like maybe he didn't maybe he didn't wish he was very grown son. He probably he probably just wished that he had that compassion, that affection that he had that in that moment you know you can see like he was like you know he even hugged him and he like rubbed his head it's like you know like it's, it's that same thing like joseph that's how you be a manager and a parent it's like you know like show your sons like a, just a little bit of compassion and affection and emotion and it's like i know you want them to be you know on the ball all the time but it's like you still a parent at the end of the day and even when he made that comment like oh barry gordy wouldn't be satisfied until he got one of my kids call him daddy it's like it's that one-sided beef where it's like i'm pretty sure barry gordy not even thinking about like you know having them as his own kids he probably treated him nice and respectfully because at the end of the day they're his artists he has to they're assigned to him and and their kids at the end of the day so he's not gonna be rude or mean or anything to him but it's like they're seeking affection from other people because they're not getting it from their dad you know it's like if you're gonna be the manager learn how to be a parent as well I and mean, i'm pretty sure you, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say like I'm not trying to say it in a bad way, but it's like, not learn how to make parent, but learn how to have that affectionate side with that, you know? Barry Gordy does not control his family. Understood? I just want to say this actor right here. I think his name Whaley. I'm about to be so mad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it. In, I'm gonna put it in letters up here because this actor right here. When I tell you when I was younger, I thought this was Michael. Like not even like I thought Michael was playing himself. I thought this, I thought we got to the the point in the movie where oh okay Michael is just about to uh you know he's playing himself like in this movie like you know how some people play themselves like Eminem played himself 
in his uh, biopic. So I thought, I literally thought this was Michael. I'm like, he got the moves. He sound like him. But this actor, he looks like him. He talks like him. And he can dance like him. I was like, yo, this is his spitting image. I'm like, this, it was so crazy. I really, for the longest time, I thought this was Michael Jackson. I think like, it was probably like years later from the first time I saw this movie. Like years later, I, I looked it up and I was like, who? Like, who is him? But dang, like he, uh, RIP to him too, because he passed away as well. But he uh yeah he looked so much like michael and his crazy it was crazy and i know everybody was getting hyped over uh um jermaine's son who's not who's about to play the new uh who's about to play michael in the new movie that they're about to make but i'm like he they like he looked like i'm like he looked like he belonged in the family <laughs> which he does but i'm like he oh he got nothing on this actor like this actor looked like his look like michael's spitting image like I, you put them side by side bro, I thought they twins. you would have thought like he looks like him and it's crazy and he sings very well too man i repeated him though he died at a, a i think he was like what maybe 1920 uh and he died at a young age too so i repeated him but dang but he looks he looks so much like like it was crazy we need new material so let's try the one you've been working on man what's the use we'll never get to sing it anyway marvin gay is taking charge of his own music stevie wonder too i mean they fought for certain things and it paid off hey jermaine why don't you help the brothers out here talk to barry he is your father-in-law i'm not running to my father-in-law every time somebody's got a complaint you want to talk to him talk to him i want to talk to him but he ain't gonna want to listen i just want to say this one more time but, uh, terrence howard playing jackie <laughs> it's so good it's so good him playing jackie is just brilliant casting brilliant the guy who they got to play jermaine i don't know i feel like they went left field with that he's not a bad actor i'm not saying that at all he, he he acting phenomenal but it was just it was just so left field from the prior obviously they had his son he couldn't play him for the entire time but it was just it was just such a, a huge jump so when uh when tito when tito's actor had announced him like thanks jermaine it was just like jermaine like what happened <laughs> i'm not joking i hate the way i look honestly that's so sad because uh, he was beautiful like he was just he was so beautiful like honestly he really was he was beautiful that's good like he was just a good looking young man and it's crazy that like people like bash people for getting plastic surgery but it's like y'all go on the internet and y'all bash people about their looks and then you bash them when they get surgery it's like it's it's it's, it's not a winning it's not a winning situation when it comes to like the internet or people or fans or whatever you want to call it it's never going to be a, a winning situation that's why it's so important to teach yourself self self love i love my hair i love my face do i got a big nose yes do i care no because i've had it my whole life i don't care <laughs> so it's just it is what it is and this was like you y'all just completely destroyed this man's viewpoint on how he looked to the point where not only him but his sisters as well went to go get these nose jobs to where it's nothing left and it's just it ruined their face and i'm not even trying to say that to be mean because obviously janet jackson she's beautiful as well but it's just like you ruined your face like that it's like don't tamper with your face like god made you how you are and, and they were they were beautiful they were they, they're beautiful people they were they were they were beautiful and gorgeous and it's like and if, and if you see uh janet jackson when she played on good times it was like bro it was like you didn't even need to do nothing to your face you was gorgeous same with latoya same with Rebe. like if y'all seen their pictures before the surgery and stuff it was like y'all were just stunning beautiful gorgeous and it's so sad that the media caused them to do that to themselves oh man i don't even like to, i don't even want, i didn't even want to talk about this that type of stuff on here but i just had to say it because it's just the fact that they the family had to put it out there and put it in this movie because i think jermaine and jermaine Kath, Catherine, and uh and somebody else was the producers of this so they had to write how michael was feeling it's just so sad because it's just really sad man he did not he just he just so beautiful it's not it's i can't even explain it any type of way he's just a beautiful he's just beautiful he didn't even need to touch his face or nothing like that it was just too wide fans suspect me of sound and look another way i did when i was little you just gotta be who you are michael right. i don't know who i am you know what they say right in front of me let's go michael jackson yuck and they were haters it's got pimples. they were haters it's it's a normal thing to get bumps and stuff on your face so whoever's doing that was hating big time but he's a beautiful person beautiful even the actor <laughs> i don't even like seeing an actor saying that because even the actor is beautiful like it's just it's crazy to me that somebody would say that man oh i was about to say that's why i took such a long pause because I was, I was losing my train of thought but what i was about to say was when he was saying like oh everybody expect him to look and sound the same when he was younger i was like that's normal because they just so used to seeing you as a child but it's like you just gotta you you have to, they didn't teach them that it's okay to accept change it's okay to accept change like at this point in his life it's like even if you didn't if you felt like you wanted to do something other than music like i would have been like well 
we got the money now if college is something that you want to look into and you can go to college and see like what career path you wanted to do if you want to come back to music that's fine but it's all up to you like you have you have the control over your life and i know it, in that clip i'm not sure if i'm gonna show that part or not but in that clip when uh joseph was like i control this family or something like that it's like no like you control your own you control your own life and only you can determine that and i think at this point what he said he was what 18 i think no, i think he was 16 at this point he was 16 and i think when he said he was he was gonna be in his house he was like 28 i think it's because it was like jackie was like 28 all the other boys was like 28 or something like that it's like no it's like you know like it's okay to accept change in your life you know if music isn't forever it don't have to be forever if you want to do other stuff do other stuff like with me like with me and my painting like i love to paint i want to i want to do art i probably want to teach art one day which is what i'm a young girl go to school for but i'm also into candles i want to sell candles so i know i'm not gonna be teaching my whole life i'm probably gonna take a break and just do online selling candles or, stuff, or get a shop and sell candles or whatever the case may be but like i'm i love those changes in myself i love to see the advanced that vast span of what i want to do you know and stuff like uh, dang i want to let's just see what Catherine gonna say because I think it's very important to teach kids to accept change. I think I'm ugly. Oh my god. I mean, nah, that's so crazy. Oh, that respect my shit. Bands, mother. You cannot live your life trying to fit into other people's fantasies. Exactly. You just be who you are. And you're beautiful. Beautiful. You always have been beautiful. From the moment that you were born. Oh my god. There's something in your eyes that touches everyone. I know people will probably like W. Catherine, but even even Catherine telling him this isn't isn't gonna mean nothing because people and kids mind is like, well, you're my parent, like, of course you're gonna say that. And so that's why it's so important as as other people to walk around with good spirit, good good spirit, and to lay that, leave, put that impression. How am I trying to say this? To be kind to one another and not make fun of every little thing that's going on with someone because you you don't know how that's gonna affect them. It's like Catherine can say this, yes, but it's like. He, he gonna have millions and millions of people hating him, calling him ugly, calling him weird, and it's all about what other people gonna say to you. And I know y'all probably gonna be like, just ignore, just ignore. And it's like it's only so many times where you can you can say, oh, I'm not really tripping on that, I'm not really doing that. You can say that all you want to, but it's still gonna hurt deep down inside. It's still gonna hurt. That's why it's so important just to share the love to your neighbor, share the love. You know, even if this is isn't the best looking person. Oh, okay, like how you doing? Look good today. Like what? Like just give compliments. Like you don't even got it. And if and if you and if, even if you think like this person isn't is look is best looking, you ain't gotta go out of your way to say that. Even if you do got a bump on his forehead, you ain't gotta go out of your way to point it out. It's like you know, like you ain't gotta do all that. Let me get okay. Yeah, like you ain't gotta do all that. It's so unnecessary. Spread spread love and joy because that's why so many people feel like they need to get so many women as well feel like they need to get the the implants and butt implants and get this you know like they, they don't let themselves and as much as they try to say that they they do it for themselves because they love themselves it's like no like to be honest you're doing it so you can please other people you know that's why a lot of girls wear makeup as much as they want to say that they don't they do it for themselves it's like the moment you say the moment you take your makeup the make you take the makeup off you call yourself ugly the, and i mean like definitely you wake up wash your face and you say oh, i can't go outside on the makeup it's like because you you insecure about it and it's okay to feel insecure because we all got insecurities but it's also okay to know like you're not really doing it for yourself because you don't think you don't think how yourself even if you are someone who think you even if you are someone who do think you are pretty without makeup like you still gonna call yourself ugly and say that you need makeup on your face like you know it, it's still that underlining of like you deep down in yourself like you really felt like you need this to feel beautiful you know and you don't same with same with michael you felt like he needed to get surgery to fix his face when he didn't you know it's the same thing but because you have those haters out there who who's going to point out every flaw and is it a flaw it probably isn't but because they because they got this image of you like what Catherine was saying because they have this image of what they think you should look like they're going to say something when you don't have to worry about fitting into that person's image who are you to tell me like if you got a fantasy in your head that's you and your problem but this is how i am this is real life this is what i look like you know dang had this movie is probably just me giving out speeches <laughs> i'm trying to react to it but i just gotta say what i gotta say you should be writing your own songs producing your own records michael we gotta change i mean you said some yourself a thousand times i'm sick of singing do up i mean they don't even use at the recording studio anymore yeah you know they're gonna double song anyway look we choreograph only numbers we can do our own music get away from the bubble gum you know just as much about the record business as anybody over there motown motown has taught us the business they trained us you knew the business before motown you were ready you were professionals you keep saying it yourself michael we need some control say it bro <laughs> Going over to CBS. All your brothers have already signed, Jermaine. Just waiting on your signature. Y'all see the look on Joseph? Like, obviously, I don't know Joseph's acting, but the look on Joseph's face is like, he probably, like, in this moment, he probably was thinking, like, dang, like, we don't work this hard to get to this moment right here where we can write, produce, make our own, have our own show. You know, like, we, we don't have to worry about listening to somebody. Like, it's just us. Like, dang, I gotta, I'm sorry, I, I gotta agree with Joseph on this part. It's like, it's just them. They can write and produce their own music. And it's probably the moment that he was waiting for, you know? He probably was, but that's... Dang, I kind of just asked my own question about earlier. I'm not going to do that. Look, Jermaine, you and me, we've always been close. I'm asking you to sing with us. Why do you put that lipstick on his on his mouth? 
That did not look right at all. We have a show scheduled two days after the press conference. Jermaine and show. I know we will. Of course. You sure. I'm ready, Joseph. I've always been ready. We depended on you, Randy. I've wanted to be a part of this group since I was two years old. I'm ready. Mike, be tough. The blood is thicker than water. We'll be back someday. Y'all see this moment where he just, where Joseph was just like, hey man, you just gotta, you gotta tough it out. Like, you know, he, he, Jermaine, he's still, he's still your brother. Like, he gonna be back. Like, you know, it's like, that's the moment I was talking about. It's cool to be their manager, but you need more moments like that. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know they, pers they real personal life, but like from this movie perspective, it was like he, Michael, I feel like Michael needed more of those moments where his dad, where he can just sit and talk and express and, and Joseph give him advice, you know, stuff like this moment right here. Like you can see like the, you can see like the, Hey, like, you know, just, just, just relax. Like everything will be all right. Like, you know, from Joseph and I like to see that, but I really, I really wonder if, Jermaine leaving wasn't the issue. I feel like I feel like Michael really wanted to start his solo career at this moment, and Jermaine just did it first. And of course, I'm gonna have to pause the video right there because we are going over time. But yeah, I feel like we'll have like an hour. We got like an hour or so left or whatever but that was my reaction to the jackson's and american dream parts i think this is part four i think i'm pretty sure but um let me know what y'all think about it in the comments i know i was talking a lot but i'm trying to break these moments down and i know y'all probably saw me skipping a little bit but um i was just trying to hit like the big moments and stuff like and i'm so glad we got to the point where we see uh whaley dang what's his name i, I can't remember his name I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna just explain it up here. I'm so glad we got to see his scenes because I feel like he just did a phenomenal job at being Michael Jackson in this movie. So did uh uh Terrence being Jermaine. I said being Jermaine, being uh Jackie Jackson. But I just this is probably one of my favorite movies growing up, so I'm glad I got to react to it on this channel. Especially because I haven't seen it in so long, but this is one of my favorite movies. So I hope y'all like it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know how y'all felt about some of the moments that I talked about. And yeah, I'll see y'all when I see y'all.